So this is a project that I'm working on to add to my lighting workshop. But this is not a lighting tutorial. I want to show you how to create these streaks going outward. When I check YouTube, I only found the circular streaks, the circular brush metal, like what you see on your screen now. But I wanted these going outward and I wanted to create it procedurally. So I had to figure it out and I figured it out and I want to show you what I came up with. There might be another way to do it, but this is what worked for me. So let me show you. So I just created a cylinder so you'll see what's happening. So typically, this is what you want to do. You want to turn the metallic all the way to one and then you want to turn the anisotropy up. It doesn't have to be all the way to one. It could be just about there. And I found one, the same radial brushed metal on YouTube. I find it was a really simple setup and you could probably take a screenshot or I'll just uh, put his name up so you could find the channel. But this was a simple setup and this is the result I got. But this is not what I want. Remember, I want to go in outward. So what you need to do, uh, we remove these. We don't need this. Instead, uh, we add, we press shift A and add a texture, a gradient texture. And set that to radial. And if we press control shift and click, this is what we get. That's exactly what we want. And now we could add the noise texture. So plug that in, control shift, left click, and there you have it. This is the, the brush pattern going outward from the center. And of course, when you plug it into the color, yeah, that's how it looks. That's exactly what I want. And that's as simple as it is. That's how I created that a procedural brush texture going outward. So this is the setup. Just uh, the object coordinate into a mapping node. Uh, radial gradient texture set to radial into a noise texture and of course you could play with these parameters to get your desired result and then plug it into your color and that's it all right if you're interested though in learning more about lighting products in blender i do have a course called 3d product lighting mastery where there you will learn actual product photography techniques coming from my background as a product photographer so if you're interested in that feel free to click Check out the link in the description. So I hope you learned something and I'll see you soon.